Hello and welcome to Kids Church for the week of Tuesday, January 19th. My name is Pastor Marissa Becklin and I am the pastor at Faith United Lutheran Church. And if you are from our church, welcome. If you're not from our church, welcome to you too. We are so glad to have you with us for Kids Church this week. We didn't have Kids Church come out yesterday on Monday because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So this week we're one day off, but usually Kids Church comes to our channel on Mondays. Every week for Kids Church, we hear a story and then we have a discussion question and a prayer. And we've been working our way through stories about when Jesus was very, very little. And so if you remember, the last few weeks we heard the story of the wise men. And then we heard last week the story of the escape to Egypt. If you don't remember those stories, you can go back and watch previous weeks. But today we're going to hear a story about a man named Simeon and a woman named Anna. And we're going to learn why they were so important and what it was like when they met Jesus. So in our story today, Jesus is still very little. So this is Simeon and Anna. There was an old man named Simeon who lived in Jerusalem. Simeon loved God. He knew God's words and believed God's promises. God made a promise to Simeon. God promised Simeon that he would not die until he saw the person God was sending to save the whole world. One day, Simeon went to the temple. The temple was very crowded. Many people were there. Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus were there too. Simeon looked around. When Simeon saw baby Jesus, he got very excited. Could Jesus be the one? Simeon pointed at baby Jesus and asked, may I hold him? Carefully, Mary said, Simeon carefully picked Jesus up and began praising God. So here's a picture. And in our picture today, we have Simeon right here. And these are some other friends at the temple who are watching. Right here we have baby Jesus. He's kind of big. He's kind of a toddler now. And there's Mary and Joseph. And then we have other friends watching too. Other kids. And look how happy they are to see each other. Jesus is reaching out for Simeon. Have you ever held a baby before? Have you ever gotten to feel how soft and small and maybe wiggly and squirmy they are? That's what Simeon got to do with baby Jesus in our story. Simeon said, God, you have kept your promise. You have let me see the one you promised to send. He will save the whole world. Mary and Joseph were amazed. Was Jesus part of God's promise to save the whole world? What does this mean, Joseph asked. How can this be? Simeon talked about God's promise with Mary and Joseph. Then he blessed Jesus and his family. An old woman named Anna was also at the temple. Anna lived at the temple. She worshiped God and prayed day and night. When Anna saw Jesus, she rushed over. She knew Jesus was special. Would Mary let Anna hold Jesus too? Yes, Mary said. Anna began praising God too. She told everyone who would listen, Jesus is the one God promised to send. Jesus will save the world. Then Anna handed Jesus back to Joseph. Take good care of him, Anna said. Oh, we will, Joseph said. What an exciting day. When Mary and Joseph finished at the temple, they took Jesus home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. He became strong and wise, and God was always with him. Here's our other picture from today, and this is Anna. And she's, there's Simeon again. There's Anna, and there's baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. And Anna looks very happy to see baby Jesus. So our story today is all about Jesus meeting some of these special people, Simeon and Anna. And what's beautiful is that Simeon and Anna know right away when they meet Jesus that this is the one God promised to bring. This is the one who will save the whole world. And that's how they say thank you to God. They shout, thank you, God, for sending Jesus. So my question for you today 
is that if you were thanking God for Jesus, what would you say? What would you say to God about Jesus? And how would you say thank you? What would you thank God for? What's your favorite part about Jesus to say thank you for? So with that, I'll invite us into a moment of prayer. So let us pray. Good and gracious God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending him to save this whole world. Thank you for sending him to love us. We pray that you would help us feel Jesus' love this week and help us say thank you for how good Jesus is and help us tell others about Jesus' love. We ask all this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for Kids Church today. We'll continue next week with another story and some time together. So God's peace to you this week, and I will see you on Monday.